many people think that for cooking fine dining dishes, you need expensive equipment or expensive ingredients, but I'm not a true. Today, I'm gonna show how you can make these delicious main course using only super cheap ingredients and basic equipment at home. Because cooking is not about money, but about skill. So let's do it. And let's start with the meat. I have here this beautiful big shoulder. This is super cheap, cut off meat, but if you cook it properly, it tastes delicious. The first thing I want to do is to cut my portions. Of course you can cook it like one piece, but I don't have really time to do it now, so I cut it smaller. This meat costs only 4 bucks per kilo in my country, but as you can see, looks really nice and is very lean. And the next thing I need for cooking the meat is some vegetable. So I'm gonna chop roughly some parsley root, carrots and red onions. You don't need to care that much about the sizes, because we need this vegetable just for the taste inside the sauce. I'm gonna spread the vegetable on the bottom of the baking dish. I season my pork necks with salt, pepper and caraway seeds. You don't wanna be cheap with seasoning now, because there are big pieces of meat, so season it properly. You can also Experiment with different spices, like oregano, cumin or coriander. I also put in some dry thyme. And the last thing I need is the beer and beef stock. And now I just put the meat on the top and I'm gonna bake it around 170 degrees celsius until the meat will be very soft so the meat is inside the oven and the next thing i have to start with is mashed potato the potatoes are very cheap as well so let's use them so i'm gonna get some potatoes peel them and chop them roughly to the same sizes always if you do some kind of mash it's very important to cut the vegetable to the same sizes so they are cooking evenly. I cover it with water, put good amount of salt and I'm gonna cook it on medium heat until they are soft. And the next vegetable I want to use is turnip. This is a very cheap vegetable as well and I think it's gonna go very well with pig shoulder. So I'm gonna cut it to smaller veggies which I can use for my plating. But if you want, you can experiment even with different shapes. And the last vegetable I want to do for this recipe are piclet red onion rings. Very easy to do it, but they're gonna taste delicious. So let's do them. I start with slicing one red onion on the mandolin. Of course, you can do it with a knife, but on mandolin it's just more easier. I will split the layers and move everything inside the bowl. And now let's do the pickle liquid. So I mix water, white wine vinegar, bay leaves, peppercorns, dry chilies, caraway seeds, salt and sugar inside the pot. You don't need to care that much about the quantities guys. Just make it very sour, little bit sweet, salty and put enough spices. And I'm gonna bring it to the boil and then mix it with my red onions. My potatoes are cooked now, so I'm gonna pass the water out and I mash them with this tool. You can use even chinois or something else, that's up to you, but try to do it as fine as you can. Now I just mix it with a little bit of milk, season it with salt and my mash will be ready for the plating. Of course you can put some butter or cream inside, but today we are doing budget version so we use just the milk. At this time, is my meat also ready? So I'm gonna take it out from the oven and I'm gonna pass everything through the chinois. And don't forget to squeeze all the juice out so you don't waste anything. And now I just reduce it down and my sauce is gonna be almost done. And at the same time, I can finish my turnips. So I put a little bit of vegetable oil on the pan and I'm gonna make nice color on them. 
I also reheat my mash and I'm gonna move it inside the piping bag so it's ready for the plating. Now it's time to turn them around, season them with salt and pepper and they will be ready in few minutes. My beer sauce is reduced enough, so I just put a little bit of butter and I put my meat in to reheat. I just cut it to nice portions and I'm gonna leave them inside the sauce for a few minutes. And at this time I have everything ready, so let's do the plating. I start with one piece of pork neck in the middle of the plate. Then I put few roasted turnips around. Few dots of my mashed potato. Some pickled onion rings. Few oxalis flowers. And I'm gonna finish it with my delicious beer sauce. And my dish is ready. Super cheap, but tastes delicious. So I totally recommend you to try it at home. And if you'd like to learn more about fun and cooking or get my personal one-on-one -on -one mentoring so you can learn how you can create your own fine dining dishes or improve plating once for all, check out the link in the description below. Thank you for watching and I see you soon.